Officer Robert Charlin, and he was killed on in action on the uh, October the 15th, 1944, over Germany on a, on a mish, bombing mission that he'd been sent on. The other one is uh, Flying Officer John Glenn, and he was killed on August 26, 1944. Uh, he'd been out on a uh, mine-laying mission with his aircraft, and on the way back to uh, the base to land, he ended up flying into the side of a mountain, from what we understand from the, uh, the studies there. In your remarks during the ceremony on Sunday, you cited the the number of veterans that are still with us is diminishing each year. And can you tie that into the uh, momentous occasion of having this monument unveiled? Well, we're losing all the veterans there. Uh, like for our legion, we have uh, two uh, legion members that are here. One was with the uh, in the Second World War, the others in the Korean War. So the numbers are getting very, very far and few between now. And if you really look, the earliest Korean veteran would be probably in about 92 year range. Uh, most of the Second World War veterans are now are roughly 94 to 98 years of age. So they're, they're passing away. So it's important to have this monument to remember them by and remember all those, like you said, that they were the lucky ones that came home, but there's so many that didn't come home. What's interesting about this monument is this monument here is on, it's on what's known as the Legion property here for uh, Nipissing Junction. Uh, but the building that we are in for the Legion here was actually Nipissing Junction School. So it's interesting to see this monument here on the school grounds where these young men and women that went off to war to fight is located on the school grounds where they went to school and where they played before the Call of Duty came. And the benches here, what's your hope for uh, the benches and how they be used moving forward? The benches are presented by Len Davis, uh, who is the dreamer and visionary for the memorial, and another family that are Thompson family that are members of the Legion. They're here beside the uh, monument, and they're reflection benches. I mean, people can come in and sit down and think about and wonder about their family members and recall their family members. And that. So I like to think of them as remembrance benches.